Today I'll show you how to take your individual images of the sun, such as these, and turn them into a time lapse, such as this one, which I took of the giant solar prominence from May 10, 2024. Now to learn how to take videos of the sun and then turn them into individual images, uh, you can check out my tutorial called Lunar Processing 2024 tutorial. Uh, this is an astro surface tutorial. That was the program that I was using. So today I'll mainly be starting from the point where I already have these individual images and then I'll show you how to sharpen them, how to align them, and then how to turn them into a time lapse. Now the programs that you're going to need today uh, are two free programs. One is called Astro Surface um, and that is the program used instead of Auto Stackert and Registax these days for processing uh, stacking um, solar, lunar, or planetary images. And the other one is PIPP, uh, which you've probably seen me use in my previous videos and that's useful for converting images or stacking uh, or turning them into time lapses. So once you've downloaded Astro Surface and PIPP, uh, we can get started. So first thing we're gonna do is open up Astro Surface. So I'll go to File, uh, Open, that's the first one over here. And then I'll just select one image. I don't need to select uh, all of them, just one of them right now. So this is a good sample image. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is go over to the Wavelets tab, click on that at the top. And in the Wavelets tab, we are going to sharpen this image because this is just the raw output. So uh, on the right hand side, you'll see Wavelets HF and Wavelets LF. So again, Wavelets HF, this over here is the size of the detail that it's sharpening and underneath here is the strength, how much of the wavelet to apply. Same with the low frequency. Uh, so I increased the, wave, uh, the low frequency wavelets a little bit using this arrow to three and now I can adjust the strength to see how sharp I want the image on the right to be. Using this preview button at the top right, I can undo and redo. So you can see that's a, that's a nice result. That's a good amount of sharpening. Once I've done that, I'll just click do all to sharpen the entire frame. Now I'll take a look and see how it looks if I'm happy with the level of sharpening. What I'll do is click save P. So that'll save the parameter file, all the settings that we applied to this image, this level of sharpening. It will save that so you can apply it to other files. So I'll just call this one Solar Test 2. You can name it whatever you want. It'll save it in the default Astro Surface directory. So click save. So once that's done, I can, I can cancel, just get out of this image. I don't really need it, so I can just click close. Go to batch uh, at the very top. Click on wavelets and more. And now we can apply the sharpening that we just did to all of the files that I had in this directory, not just one. So I'm going to click load files, which is the first one. So navigate to where all of these files are stored. Select all of them, open. And under parameters over here, that's number two, I'll click on load P and select solar test two. That was the perimeter file, sorry, parameters file, which I had saved previously with the details about the level of sharpening I want. And now I can apply that sharpening to all of these files. Now to make it easier, we can save all the resulting files as .bmp files, that'll make it easy. And text added, leave that as is. Click process. And done. Now we can exit Astro Surface. We no longer need it. Now, if you look at this folder over here, now there are twice as many files because I had my original .tif files and now Astro Surface has saved the sharpened.bmp file. So if I open this original TIF file, and I go to the next one. So you can see this is the sharpened BMP file, much sharper. See, original, sharpened, original, sharpened. We are going to use just these sharpened files. I'm gonna uh, separate these two. So I'll right click, go to group by and group by type. 
that will uh, allow Windows to separate these two files by their file type. Now I have all the BMP files, the sharpened BMP files up top, and my original TIFF files at the bottom. I don't need the TIFF files, so I'll just hide them. So the next step is to take all of these BMP files and bring them into PIPP. So open up PIPP, move it over to the side, select all of the BMP files, the sharpened BMP files that we saved and drag and drop them into PIPP. Now we are going to, to crop out the very outer edges. Any, any uh, issues that are in the outer edges can throw off the process. So we'll crop those out and also this will allow us to make sure that all of the files are going to be the exact same size because uh, some of these files are in dimensions are a little bit larger than others. For example, this file that I have here is 1928 by 1096. Some of the others are 1933 by 1088. In PIPP, um, we are currently on the source files tab. Go over to the next tab, which is input options. Over here, you can, uh, you can undo debayer raw files we don't need that and under color or monochrome i like to just manually select if i'm using black and white images or color images so this is a color image next tab is the processing tab over here i'll make sure that for frame stabilization none is selected and underneath i'll click enable cropping and under enable cropping uh, i will enter what size i want the the main frame to be cropped to so that'll just crop it uh crop out the edges a little bit so i will just select um instead of 1928 by 1096 which is the size of this frame i'll just do 1800 by uh, 1000 so you just want to crop it a little bit just the very outer edges for example at the top you can see this black bar we don't want that there now that i've entered this if i click test options at the top you'll see that in my sample image that very top black bar has just disappeared so that's what i want now um, under quality options we'll leave that as is under output options this is where we select what type of files we want the program to output We'll keep it as .bmp, which is what our input files were. And under do processing, we are now ready. So just click start process. And that will now give you these files over here. Now, if I open them and I move through, they are all exactly the same size. And all the black bars at the top have been cropped out. So uh, I, I can close PIPP now. These files that, are, that I cropped in PIPP, I will uh, move them all over to this directory, this imjolt folder. And now I'll right click, create a new folder, and I'll call this folder BMP. I'll uh, select all of the files that I had created, I had cropped uh, in PIPP, just move them into this BMP folder and now i'll just drag and drop this bmp folder onto the imjolt uh, application imjolt.x click run and now imjolt will take all of those cropped files that i had and align them all to each other perfectly if we look at these files in imjolt that i just stabilized if we open one of those and we flip we flip through you can see that the sun is perfectly aligned in every single frame. We can take all of these aligned files into PIPP and make a time lapse. So open up PIPP again. Now select all of these aligned BMP files and drag and drop them into PIPP. Just click OK. I'll, uh, I'll move this over to that side and PIPP on the left. Okay. So in PIPP, leave everything as is over there. Go to input options. Again, uncheck debayer raw files and select whether your images are color or monochrome under input frame color slash monochrome. Mine are color, so I'll select color. Go to processing options. Make sure frame stabilization is disabled. Under output options at the top over here, uh, you'll select AVI because you want to make a video. So select AVI this time and under AVI file options at the right, select FMP4, 
uh, MPEG-4 lossy compression. So you don't need the highest quality for a video, so you can select that. And under this one, uncheck that and select the frame rate that you want. So uh, it depends on how many files you have. If you have a thousand files, you can probably do, you know, 30 frames per second. If you only have, uh, let's say like 30 files over here, you want a slower frame rate. Uh, for solar, I, I can do something like 10 frames per second, uh, but you can experiment with different frame rates. Once that's done, go to processing and click start processing. There is our video. Now, if you double click on that, you'll see that the sun is stabilized and you can see some motion in here as well. For the purpose of this tutorial, I had only used a small sample um, of all of my files. So as you can see, I just used these ones, uh, whereas in reality, um, for the time lapse that I had made, I had used 97 different files. So it was yeah, quite a bit more. That's how I got this uh, time lapse. So I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. Thanks again for watching and clear skies.